ये स्टार मिस्टर अब्दुल हमीद पेंडेंस ऑफिसर कंट्रोलर ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन डीन स्टूडेंट्स वेलफेयर डॉक्टर डीन्स ऑफ फैकल्टीज प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ कॉलेज एंड पॉलिटेक्निक्स एंड स्कूल्स चेयरपर्सन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्टडीज डायरेक्टर्स अदर फंक्शनरीज ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन Assalamu alaikum and good morning to all of you. My warmest greetings to this August Assembly of Elik Fraternity and to all my countrymen on the 73rd Republic Day of our beloved country. As all of us are aware, India got its constitution and became a republic today. It's a historic milestone in the history of our nation. and hence we commemorate the enactment of the constitution which came into effect on january 26 1950 on this great day we pay our sincere tributes to all the great personalities who made tremendous sacrifices to achieve freedom from the british this day reminds us of the struggle our torch bearers put in to achieve pool swaraj we pay homage to our great leaders like mahatma gandhi dr b r ambedkar who was the father of the indian constitution jawaharlal nehru sardar patel bhagat singh subhash chandra bose khan abdul ghaffar khan maulana abul kalam azad and others who devoted their entire lives to achieve freedom for our country our constitution is not just a mere set of fundamental laws that form the basis of governance but it embodies certain basic values philosophies and objectives a citizen of the indian republic has the right to choose his representatives to lead the nation as each citizen enjoys equal rights irrespective of status religion gender apart from equal rights so the other basic features of our constitution are democracy freedom of speech and secularism different religions castes cultures languages flourish side by side in our country this unity in diversity is a unique feature of our nation and we must strive to uphold the rights privileges that our constitution gives us the ceremonial parades on the rajpath on republic day represented by the vibrant states of our country bear testimony to our unity in diversity and our country's rich cultural heritage social justice and empowerment of weaker sections of the society is another cardinal guiding principle of the constitution in its 100 years history aligarh muslim university has striven to provide affordable and quality education to hundreds of thousands of talented youth in this country and empowered them and their families irrespective of religion caste and gender it's a matter of great honor and pride for us that many alumni of amu played a prominent role in the freedom struggle under the leadership of mahatma gandhi several alumni of the university also contributed in the process of framing our constitution under the able guidance of dr b r ambedkar covid-19 pandemic has adversely affected all spheres of life and it has also badly affected the education sector from primary schools to higher education institutions the entire educational sector is affected despite the pandemic the university administration opened new courses to provide modern and job oriented avenues to this, for these students btech in artificial intelligence in the faculty of engineering mch in neurosurgery bsc in nursing and bsc in various paramedical subjects msc in data sciences msc in forensic and digital sciences msc in floriculture and msc in agronomy are among the new courses opened in this pandemic session in this academic session proposal to increase mbbs seats from 150 to 200 has also been submitted to the national medical commission 
We are also making efforts to start the Institute of Pharmacy in our university. We have tried our best to gain access for the COVID third wave, which is now in progress, and have upgraded the facilities in JNMC Hospital, which includes a 100 bed COVID ward with 25 ICU beds for COVID patients have been operationalized. A new 50 bed COVID pediatric ward with ICU has been established. New ventilators and other sophisticated, sophisticated equipment have been procured. Three oxygen generation plants and one additional liquid medical oxygen plant has been installed in the GNMC hospital to meet the ex emergency requirements in any situation. The world's largest vaccination program is going on, a, on in our country. It is the duty of all of us, not only to get ourselves and our families vaccinated, but also to motivate other sections of society to participate in the vaccination drive, including those eligible for precautionary booster doses. Vaccination is the best safeguard to prevent serious disease, hospitalization and deaths due to COVID virus. Let us hope and pray that this pandemic will end soon, inshallah, and we will return to normal activities in all spheres of life. I thank all members of the AMU fraternity for the help and cooperation in this difficult time of the pandemic. Teamwork, consultation, coordination, planning have been the hallmark of our administration. In the smooth functioning of the university, the support I got from the teachers, supporting staff, students, alumni, and well-wishers has played a pivotal role. I am greatly indebted to all of you. AMU will continue its efforts for national unity, communal harmony, and to uphold the basic tenets enshrined in the preamble of our constitution. This day is all about enthusiasm, celebration of our freedom, and love and respect for all citizens of the country. Let us all strive for academic excellence and move on the path shown by a great founder, Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan. In the end, I exhort everyone to strengthen our democracy by being united, fearless, and positive in our attitude. Let us force forward confidently to a healthy, strong, and self-reliant India. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you.